So the Conservative Party leadership debate just wrapped up here in Ottawa at the Canada Strong and Free Conference. I'm going to run up and see if I can chat with any of the leadership candidates. I have a bunch of questions. Well, I have one question I really want to ask all of them that was not addressed in the debate. Stay tuned. I'm going to see if I can track them down. here with Conservative leadership candidate Jean Charest. And Mr. Charest, I just have one question, which is, what do you think the biggest challenge to civil liberties in Canada is today? I think it can be the easy er erosion and acceptance of, uh, of, the, of, of diminishing rights and not challenging governments to demonstrate the empirical evidence that they need to show when they're uh, they're affecting the rights of Canadians, we easily now this may sound technical, but it's not. Any government that wishes to uh, constrain the rights of citizens need to demonstrate, in fact, that there's a reason to do it, as opposed to doing it because it's either popular or uh, because uh, they think it'll get them votes. And when we stray from that, that's when we erode basic. Uh, right. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, I'm here with Conservative Party leadership candidate Scott Aitchison, and I wanted to ask you, Scott, what do you think the biggest challenge to civil liberties in Canada is today? It's freedom of expression online. The uh, government, uh, in the previous parliament, I was on the Heritage Committee, and we were dealing with Bill C-10, which was uh, their attempt to modernize the Broadcasting Act, but in truth, it was full of, uh, you know, slippery slope kind of wording that uh, would limit Canadians' freedom of expression online. And, uh, uh, and they're, they're going back to the drawing board. They're, they're trying to do the same thing over again in this parliament. So I think that's the biggest threat. Well, thank you so much for coming on and sharing your thoughts. So we're here with Roman Baber, who's one of the candidates for the Conservative Party leadership. And Roman, I just wanted to ask one question, which is, what do you think the biggest challenge to civil liberties in Canada is today? Well, undoubtedly, it's the freedom of speech. Freedom of speech is the holy grail of all rights, because through speech, we defend all other rights. And I think we're seeing a remarkable erosion of, of free speech. And so we need to be determined to to roll back those restrictions and to enable Canadians to speak freely. So first of all, we need to look at the way that technological monopolies are preventing Canadians from expressing themselves online. Uh, we know what the legal line is and we should never cross it. But otherwise, um, we should not allow technological monopolies to censor Canadians. Um, they have the right to be wrong even if they were. Second of all, we need to defend regulated professionals. I think that too many regulated professionals in this country, especially healthcare regulated professionals, uh, have been gagged into submission, into silence for the last couple of years. And I think that perhaps with more conversation, this public health exercise would have been hand handled differently and better. And finally, um, I think that you don't have free speech without free and independent media. And how can you have free and independent media when the government signs a lot of the media's paychecks? And, and so I'm of the view that we need to get government and, and media dependency at, the, at an end. Uh, and we need to preserve our freedom of speech for ourselves and future generations. It is essential for the vibrancy of our democracy. Thank you so much for coming on and sharing your views. So Dr. Leslin Lewis's team, she's one of the candidates running for the leadership, has told me that they will meet me downstairs. So I'm heading down. Hopefully I'm going to get to chat with her really briefly. So we're here with Dr. Leslin Lewis. Dr. Lewis, I have just one question, which is what do you think the biggest threat to civil liberties in Canada is today? The lack of respect and the lack of defense for our Charter of Rights. We have seen vaccine mandates used to segregate people, demonize people. We have families not speaking to each other because of vaccination status. We've also seen an imposition into people's private lives asking strangers, asking other strangers about their vaccination status. Me personally, I have 
adopted the policy that I don't share that with strangers because I, I feel that if I'm protected, I don't have to worry about whether or not somebody else is. And so I don't share my vaccination status with, with perfect strangers because I believe in medical privacy. I also see it as a very big problem that we have millions of Canadians, Canadian citizens who are unable to travel in their own country. This is a freedom of mobility issue. And we're seeing a constant encroachment on our charter of rights, whether it's our religious freedoms, whether it's our freedom of speech, whether it's our freedom of assembly or freedom of mobility, these issues are being encroached on and we must vigorously defend our charter. Well, thank you so much for coming on and sharing your views. So the media scrums have wrapped up. I'm going to see if I can track down any more of the candidates to ask them the same question. Well, it's, we really closed out the reception. There's only a few people left. Um, I'm calling it a night, but hopefully in the morning we'll be able to find Pierre Polyev to ask him my question. What is the biggest threat to civil liberties in Canada today? What's the greatest threat to civil liberties? I'm going to list two. One uh, is the ongoing vaccine mandates that have deprived millions of people of the ability to get on a plane, leave the country, uh, or uh, in some, thousands of people to continue doing their jobs. Um, we shouldn't deprive people of a livelihood or their constitutional freedom of mobility because of a personal medical decision. Um, we need to get rid of these mandates as soon as uh, possible, um, like yesterday. And the second is the attack on free speech, Bill C-11, and uh, the digital proposed digital safety commissioner, which would uh, create uh, almost like a ministry of truth where government could dictate what people see and say on the internet. Uh, internet is the modern form of communications. If you censor the internet, you censor everything. Uh, so we need to repeal uh, and re uh, remove all of those uh, forms of censorship from the internet, bring back freedom of expression, uh, respect uh, Section 2B of the Constitution, or as I like to say in Shakespearean language, 2B or not 2B, that is the question. Uh, I choose 2B. Uh, so let's restore medical freedom and freedom of expression uh, to uh, bring back our civil liberties. So I'm back in Toronto now. Uh, as you can see, I was not able to find candidate Pierre Polyev at the Manning conference, but I was able to get in touch with his campaign and they sent me a video. So I, I then also reached out to Patrick Brown uh, and his campaign. He was not at the conference, but I thought you guys would like to see what his response to the question is too. So I've included that as well. The greatest civil liberties challenge the country is facing today is the curtailment of religious freedom. Part of the beauty of Canada is no matter what God you worship, anything is possible. You can chase your dreams. But right now we have a bill in Quebec, Bill 21, that says those who wear an article of faith, if you're wearing a turban, a hijab, a cross, or a kippah, you can lose your government job. It, no one should lose their job based on their faith. We shouldn't have second-class citizenship in our country. The Charter of Rights and Freedoms guarantees religious freedom. And the strongest democracies in the world are those that protect religious freedom. We have a Prime Minister today, Justin Trudeau, who is sitting on the sidelines in the Bill 21 Quebec debate, saying that he doesn't want to get involved because it's popular in Quebec. We shouldn't ignore discrimination. We shouldn't ignore the trampling of civil liberties because of popularity in his backyard. We should stand for what is right, and religious freedom is a foundational value for our country. I will always fight for religious freedom. I will stand for our Charter of Rights and Freedoms. So that's it. Those are the answers from all of the Conservative Party leadership candidates on the question of what is the biggest threat or challenge to civil liberties in Canada today. Was there an answer that you liked? Was there an answer you didn't like? Give me your, your thoughts in the comments below. Obviously, I'm, I'm not partisan, so I don't really have a real stake in the outcome, but I really care so much about the issues of civil liberties. I want all of our political leaders to have more care about this issue. So I'm really happy that I got the opportunity to ask all the candidates the question, but what do you think the answer is? What do you think the greatest 
threat or challenge to civil liberties in Canada is today, uh, send me a note in the comments below. And as always, thanks so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.